Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, we are going to revise some questions of coordination, paper one and two. One A, give one function of a synapse. One, ensure unidirectional flow of impulses from one neuron to the next. Two, amplifies impulses by producing sufficient acetylcholine. Three, adaptation of the synapse prevents damage to the nerve from excessive overstimulation. Four, it integrates impulses from different neurons, producing coordinated response. Five, discriminates impulses of lower intensity. Six, synapse may inhibit impulses from some neurons. B, when an action potential arrives at the synapse, calcium ions enter through the presynaptic membrane. One, explain how calcium ions enter the neuron by diffusion. B, describe the events which occur as a result of entry of calcium ion to cause the paralyzation of the postsynaptic membrane. Arrival of the impulse at presynaptic knob causes influx of calcium ions into the knob from synaptic cleft. This causes the synaptic visco to fuse with the presynaptic membrane and release their transmitter substances to the synaptic cleft. The transmitter substances bind to specific receptors on postsynaptic membrane and cause the polarization. Two, the figure below shows the variation of nerve impulse conduction speed with the diameter of marinated and non-marinated fibers. A. Compare the variation of the speed of conduction with the diameter of the two neuron fibers. Compare means we give similarities and differences. Similarities in both fibers, conduction speed increases with axon diameter. Differences in the marinated fiber, conduction speed is linear, while for non marinated fibers, conduction speed is non linear. Two, marinated fibers don't have maximum conduction speed with diameter, while non marinated fibers reach a constant conduction speed. Part B, explain the difference in the conduction speed of the two fibers. Marinated fibers are surrounded by resistant marine safe that allows the polarization to occur only at the node of Lamvia. This makes transmission of impulse to jump from one node to another, increasing speed. non marinated axons have slow conduction speed because movement of impulse is by successive movement of action potentials. C suggest the significance of the transmission speed in the nervous conduction. The faster the speed of the impulse, the faster the response by the animal. This enables animals 
to escape danger. Three A in the space below, draw a well body structure of a synapse. The synapse looks like this. A synapse is a junction between two neurons. There is a presynaptic knob and then postsynaptic knob. In the presynaptic knob, we have mitochondria, synaptic vesicle, presynaptic membrane. Then on the postsynaptic knob, we have postsynaptic membrane. Between presynaptic knob and postsynaptic knob, we have synaptic cleft. Then B, how does the impulse cross the synapse? This is a common question. Alive of the impulse at the synapse cause an influx of calcium ions into presynaptic knob from synaptic cleft. This causes the synaptic visco to fuse with the presynaptic membrane and release their transmitter substances into the synaptic cleft. The transmitter substances fuse with specific receptors on the synaptic membrane, causing the polarization. Number four, the figure below shows changes in an axon as an impulse passes through it. A. What is the state of axon membrane between R and S? R and S, the axon membrane is polarized. S and T, the membrane is depolarized. B, describe the movement of ions across the axon membrane between R and S. At R and S, the membrane is polarized. So sodium moves out, potassium moves in, affected by the sodium potassium pump. S and T, the membrane is depolarized. Sodium moves into while potassium moves out, causing depolarization. Feeling T and U, the membrane is depolarizing. Potassium gets open. Potassium ion move out initially, but later potassium ion move in and sodium ion move out by sodium potassium pump. See, why is it difficult to stimulate an axon shortly after it has transmitted impulse? Because the membrane is depolarized, time has to be allowed for the membrane to polarize. Action potential can only be developed in a polarized membrane. Number five, the figure shows the result of one end of the axon being stimulated with six electrical shocks of gradually increasing intensity and its response from the other end. Study the figure and answer the questions below. A. Describe the behavior of the axon in the region is labeled A, B, C in relation to the magnitude of the stimulus given. In region A, the axon is paralyzed because the magnitude of the stimulus is below threshold. It cannot initiate action potential. B, the axon is depolarized because the magnitude of the stimulus is above the threshold. Region C, the axon is depolarizing despite the high magnitude of the stimulus. B, 
What principle does the behavior of the artisan illustrated? That is none or nothing. That an artisan would be stimulated equally by all stimulus above the threshold intensity. See what determines the speed at which an impulse is transmitted along the axon. One diameter. The bigger the diameter of the axon, the faster the speed. Two marinated axon transmit faster than non-marinated axon. Three temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster the conduction. Four, state of the membrane. Hyperpolarization slows the nerve conduction speed. D, what is the advantage to an organism of having its impulse transmitted rapidly? Enables faster response to escape danger. Number 6A, draw a fully labeled diagram of neuromuscular junction. The neuromuscular junction looks like this. The synaptic knob makes a synapse with the muscle. Then you have mitochondria, synaptic vesicle, presynaptic membrane, post synaptic membrane and the muscle. B, explain how the impulse is transmitted across the junction above. Arrival of impulses at the junction cause influx of calcium ions from synaptic cleft into the synaptic knob. This causes the synaptic vesicles to fuse with presynaptic membrane and release the transmitter substances into the synaptic cleft. The transmitter substances fuse with specific receptors on postsynaptic membrane, causing depolarization and contraction of muscles. See? How is transmission across the synapse controlled? One, by availability and rate of synthesis of transmitter substances. Release of transmitter substances, theory. Baseline activity of postsynaptic membrane. When it is hyperpolarized, transmission of impulses may be slowed. Four, number of receptors on postsynaptic membrane. When there are many, transmission is fast. Five, deactivation of neurotransmitter. When there is no deactivation of neurotransmitter, transmission is continuous. 7A, explain the following processes involved in the transmission of impulses along a neuron. One, formation of the resting potential. At rest, the membrane is polarized. Outside, relatively positive, about 70 millivolts relative to the inside. So the inside is negative, outside is positive. The resting membrane potential is maintained by sodium potassium pump that pumps two sodium ions out against one potassium ion into the axon. Two, the formation and the transmission of action potential. The impulse or action potential is a temporary and local reversal of the resting membrane potential 
when an accusation is stimulated. Information is transmitted by a series of action potentials along the action. B, how does a retina transduce light energy into nerve impulse? The retina cones and rods contain a light sensitive pigment called rhodopsin. Rhodopsin contains a protein, opsin, and a light sensitive molecule called retino and aldehyde or vitamin A. When retino is struck by light, it changes from cis to transform which triggers an impulse to the brain. Retino cis form is then regenerated. C. What determines the speed at which an impulse is transmitted along the axon? One diameter of the axon. The bigger the diameter of the axon, the faster the transmission speed. Two, marinated axons transmit impulses faster than non-marinated axons. Three, transmission of impulses is faster at high temperature. That's why endodermos conduct impulses faster than ectodermos because endodermos maintain high body temperatures. And for the state of the axon membrane, hyperpolarization slows the conduction speed. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Find more resources on biology, chemistry, physics, and math on this website, dig.teachers.co.ug. Find more videos on YouTube channel, Digital Teachers Uganda. Go to YouTube channel, where there is a search, type in Digital Teachers Uganda, then you'll be given the different categories of videos to watch. Do me a favor and subscribe to promote my videos. Note that subscription is free. Just click the subscription button and feed in your email and it will be done. You can share this video and my website with your friends.